This educational video is brought to you by the allergy specialists at the Children's Hospital of King's Daughters. Today we'll explain a treatment option for food allergy called oral immunotherapy or OIT. What is OIT? OIT is a medical treatment for food allergy also known as desensitization therapy. This procedure involves feeding a food allergic individual small, gradually increasing amounts of their food allergen every day. This treatment is not expected to cure the allergy, but can make a person less likely to have an allergic reaction if accidentally exposed to the food. So, if OIT isn't a cure for food allergy, how can this help my child? The main goal is to improve safety from accidental allergic reactions. For many people with food allergy, small amounts of food can trigger allergic reactions. After some time on OIT, we hope to increase the amount of food it would take to cause an allergic reaction. This is called raising a person's threshold. The food allergy is still there in the background, but it would take a lot more food exposure to cause a reaction. In order to raise the reaction threshold, we get your child used to their food allergen. By giving your child microscopic amounts of their food allergen every day, they build up a tolerance to the food. After a few months on OIT, we expect that one small bite of their food allergen shouldn't cause a problem. Eating one bite of your food allergen without a reaction is known as becoming bite-proof. Once your child is bite-proof, it may be easier to dine out at restaurants, attend social eating functions, and eat prepackaged foods with precautionary labeling. The good news is about 80% of patients on OIT can achieve bite-proof protection after about 6 to 9 months. Goal 2 free eating. Some people want the option to eat a full serving of their allergen without experiencing any adverse reaction. This is known as free eating. This goal may also be achieved but takes a few additional months. Free eating may be more important for certain foods. Since free eating would require eating higher doses of your food allergen, side effects or taste aversion can be a limiting factor for some people. No matter what your goal is, our primary focus is to keep your child safe and to improve their quality of life. Think about your goals and what's important to your family. There are three phases of treatment. 1. Initial dose escalation. 2. Updosing. And 3. Maintenance. Let's break each of these phases down. Phase 1. Initial dose escalation. This phase of treatment happens in the allergy office. This kickstarts the process. We start by giving your child several small doses of their food allergen mixed with water. After we establish that these first few doses are tolerated, they've passed phase 1 and your child moves on to phase 2. Phase 2. Updosing. In this phase, your child will visit our office every two weeks for the next six months. At each visit, your child will updose or receive a slightly higher dose of their food allergen. Each visit will take about one hour. After each successful office visit, your child must continue taking the new dose at home every day until the next updosing visit. This process repeats itself until your child safely builds up to their final dose, known as their maintenance dose. Phase 3. Maintenance. Once your child reaches their maintenance dose, they will take this dose every day at home. This will become part of your daily routine, similar to brushing your teeth. Taking your dose every day will keep your child desensitized and protected. You will need to do this continuously for as long as you want to maintain this protection. Your maintenance dose goals may change over time, depending on how much your child likes the food and whether your child is experiencing any side effects. Now that you know the treatment schedule, let's talk briefly about safety. Since your child is eating the food that they're allergic to, allergic reactions with dosing can occur. There is also a small risk, estimated at 5% of developing eosinophilic esophagitis, a chronic inflammation of the throat. If problems arise, your allergist will make dose adjustments and troubleshoot the problem. To minimize allergic reactions and keep your child safe, here are the do's and don'ts for taking your dose at home. Do's 1. Before dosing, make sure you have your epinephrine auto-injector available. Two. Give your OIT dose around the same time every day. 3. If your child has recently been active when you're ready to dose, wait a period of time for your child to cool down and calm down. 4. Take each dose with a meal or large snack. 5. Watch your child for one hour after dosing. 6. 
Be aware that certain conditions may increase the likelihood of an allergic reaction such as infection, stress, menstruation, exercise, significant sleep deprivation, or taking certain pain medications. Don'ts 1. Don't put your child to bed right away after dosing. Wait at least one hour. 2. Do not take extra doses if you miss a day. 3. Do not let your child participate in sports or other physical activity or take a hot shower within three hours after taking their dose. We know that changing your child's treatment plan is a big decision, so we're always here to answer any questions you may have about this or any other aspects of your child's allergy care. If you think this treatment option sounds like a good fit for your child, the first step is to talk to your CHKD allergist. Your CHKD allergist will walk you through all of the necessary steps to get the process started.